Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. Now, as we all know, Christmas is right around the corner and it is the biggest gift purchasing and gift giving time of the year, hence this video. So I create this video for two reasons. First, I'm gonna show you some of the gifting items I recently got in from HSN, and then I'm gonna tell you some of my gift buying tips. Most of the tips are relevant for this time of the year, but there are a couple that you can use all year around. So if you like to see the items that I've gotten in from HSN, and you like to hear what my gift buying tips are, then stay tuned now, let's get started. my outfit of the day. Christmas is around the corner, so I really wanted to look the part, so I chose this beautiful red sweater. I am loving this sweater with the sweetheart neckline. It is very, very comfortable. It's very stretchy. It's a peplum sweater, so it kind of hides this area in here, which is fabulous, because you know all of us struggle, not all of us, most of us at this age struggle with this part of our body. Um, these pants are from the same company and if they're still available i will leave a link to them in the description box and on my website but this is my outfit of the day and i am loving it my scent of the day is decadence by mark jacobs it is very very appropriate for this season it has warm oh my god this smells so good it's such a warm delicate spicy scent it's feminine but even though it has a lot of spices in it, it's still a very, very feminine scent and it's just beautiful. It's a perfect winter holiday season, like Thanksgiving, Christmas type scent. And it just makes me smile. Every time I smell it, it just reminds me of Christmas and Thanksgiving. So this is my scent of the day and I just absolutely love this. I've had this probably a couple of years and I will continue to wear this probably forever. But this is my scent of the day and my outfit of the day. This portion of the video is in partnership with HSN. If you're not familiar with HSN, and you should be, HSN is your shopping destination for almost anything that you could possibly think of. They have electronics, they have beauty supplies, they have home supplies, they have jewelry, they have health supplies, they even have fashion. Now, they also have weekly deals that are available. They also have flex pay. They're available on two television channels, multiple streaming platforms, and if you like to shop online, they're available online as well. So the first item I picked up is this True Ritual Cleaning and Exfoliating Body Brush. Mine is in this gray and white marble print. It is so pretty. I thought this would make a great gift for that person who enjoys a luxurious bath, who enjoys self-care and just, just massaging and exfoliating their skin and just wants to pamper themselves. This comes with three different attachments, two loofah attachments, a pumice stone with a brush, and this brush that comes on it. And this is just fantastic. You can just turn it on, you can hear it, you can hear it running. Just turn it on and just go up and down your arms, all over your body, your back, whatever you need. This just, oh, it has two speeds. And this would make a wonderful gift for that person who just loves self-care. The next item is for me, <laughs> and it is the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer and the Brow Wig. Now the Brow Wig is for areas of your brow that may be a little sparse, you need a little thickening. It has fibers in it, and it really helps that brow look a little more thicker. Now, if you're like me, I am not a perfectionist when it comes to my brows. I'm still learning how to do it. I get it most of the time. Sometimes I fail, but this will help me try and try and try again. I'm very familiar with Too Faced products. I have several of their eyeshadow palettes and their spray is something that I use all the time. I really think this will make a great gift for someone who loves makeup and who is trying to get their brow game on point. The next item is also from Too Faced and it is the Secret Santa palette. This is a limited edition. I love this palette. I love the colors. They have beautiful matte colors and a couple of shimmer colors. And for someone who's deep in melanated like myself, it really, really goes great with my skin tone. And I also love the fact that it's a smaller palette. So it's about the size of my hand. So it's a perfect travel size palette with colors that you can use for every day. Or you have the shimmer that you can kind of brighten up your eyes as well so this is a great gift for someone who travels and loves their makeup or just someone who loves their makeup all together so the next item i purchased for myself as well and it is these fireside moccasins by deer foam 
I bought these because my husband has some almost exactly like these, except for his don't have a little tie up front. They're the exact same color, except for his are his, and they're a lot larger than my feet, and I wear them all the time. He's forever looking for his shoes, and they're on my feet, and it's so funny. So I decided I'd go ahead and get me a pair. They're so warm and cozy on the inside with the shearling, and I just love his, so I think I'm gonna truly, truly enjoy these. And I think these will make a great gift for someone who is like me, always cold, always have cold feet and want their feet to be warm. The next item on the list is the Anchor 22 piece glass food prep and storage set. I love these. I've really been trying to get away from using plastic containers, especially to store my food and refrigerator and to warm it in the microwave. So this glass set is perfect. I think this will make a fantastic gift for a first time home buyer, someone who has a new home as a housewarming gift or a person who has their first apartment or just someone who's trying to get away from using a lot of plastic and want to use something more eco-friendly, something that much better for your health, such as glass. And the last item in from HSN is the Cuisine Demoshiro 10 piece Japanese steel knife block with board set. Now this, I will not tell y'all who I got this for, but this is a perfect item for someone who likes having great tools when they're in the kitchen cooking or when they're outside on the grill. These knives are very sharp. They're steel, they're well made. I love the fact that these are not only useful, but they look beautiful sitting on the counter. The display is fantastic. The cutting board snaps on the back with magnets. So I think this would make a perfect gift for someone who loves a great set of knives. Now let's talk gift buying tips. So the first two I use all year long. The first one is I create a gift guide or gift shopping list and I keep it in my phone all year long. So I put it in notes, I have an iPhone. I put it in notes and it just says get Christmas gift list. I put everyone that I know for certain that I'm gonna get Christmas gifts for on that list and then all throughout the year I'm listening. If I'm out shopping or I'm out doing, so whatever I'm, I'm doing, I'm out with my family and I may hear my grandson say, oh, I really like those shoes. Or I may hear my son say, oh, I really like that belt. Or I like that shirt that's really nice. Whatever they see that they may want and may not even think about it again, it is in my phone, under my Christmas list, under their name, I'm putting it there. That way when September or October rolls around and I'm starting to buy Christmas gifts, I pull my phone out first before I even buy anything. I pull my phone out, I look under the list, and sometimes I may have already purchased it if I found it throughout the year on, on a great deal. But I already know at least one or two items that that particular person may love for Christmas. And I, that way I'm just not stuck trying to figure out what everybody wants. So, that, so this is really, really helpful for me. Maybe it's something that you perhaps would start doing as well. The next gift buying tip is something that I do year round. I have a black opaque tote so that no one can peek in and see what's in the tote. If I'm out shopping or when I'm out shopping throughout the entire year, if I see something that I think would make a great Christmas gift for anybody, for multiple people, and it's on a great deal, I can get it at a great deal, I will purchase it and I will put it in that bin. If I'm out and I see something that I think would make a great gift for a specific person, a particular person, I know they like this sort of thing and I can get this at a great deal as well. I will purchase it, I will write their name on the bottom of the ticket or if it didn't have a ticket on it, I'll put a sticker on it and write their name on it and I will put it in the tub. That way when Christmas starts to roll around at the end of the year, I already have several gifts in there. I may have gifts for several people and I also have several generic gifts. That way, if I'm having Christmas at my house and someone shows up unexpectedly or if someone brings an extra guest, I always have extra gifts to give that person because I really, really hate not being able to give a gift to everyone that walks into my home during Christmas. Even if they're here unexpectedly, I'm gonna have a little something set aside for everyone. That means yes, every year I have a few extra gifts left over, but that's okay. I just want everybody to feel happy when they enter my home on Christmas. So I always have that bin with small generic gifts. And if I'm out again shopping and I see gifts for particular people, I pick those up as well. The next gift buying tip is for those who don't have a lot of money to spend on Christmas gifts. Everybody doesn't have the same budget. They may not be able to afford to spend a lot of money on Christmas gifts, or you may be a part of a large family where you can't afford to get everyone a Christmas gift, and you just don't want to give certain people in the family gifts and not give others. So to make it all fair, my recommendation, and I actually love this idea, 
is to do a secret Santa. You all come together you come up with a minimum budget, a maximum budget for the gift. So I, we, we have to spend at least $80, but you can't spend over a hundred dollars because you don't want someone getting a $50 gift and we're all here under unwrapping gifts and this person gets a $350 gift. It's not going to make for a happy gift giving experience for everyone. So come up with a minimum budget to spend and a maximum budget to spend. Everyone get a piece of paper, write down three to four items they would really, really like within that budget, put, fold that paper, put it in the pot and everybody draws a name for Christmas. And please, please, I hate when people tell who their secret Santa is. I've never told who mine was because it just takes all the fun out of it. Don't tell who your secret Santa is. Now this way, you know exactly how much money you have to spend during this family function. You know how, what to get. So you have a list of items. It just makes the experience so much more enjoyable. Everybody is happy because everyone has gotten a gift that they actually love. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, maybe perhaps you all could talk about, okay, we're going to get this one gift. And maybe we can do some stocking stuffers for under five dollars or under three dollars whatever come up with that and that's always really fun because you try to figure out what can i get for under five dollars or what can i get for under three dollars and you can buy some stocking stuffers as well but i love doing secret santa i think it is a smart thing to do i think there's a budget friendly thing to do and i think it is a thoughtful thing to do because everyone actually gets something they really really want the next gift buying tip is to buy practical gifts. Uh, now I love me a bling bling. I love me a bougie gift. I, I love it of course, but I really honestly, I love me a practical gift. I love getting something that I am going to get a lot of use out of. It always makes me smile. It really, really does. So I have three ideas for practical gifts. And the first one is for that person who is really, really busy and hate washing the car. They don't want to go through the car wash or they don't mind going through the car wash, but they don't even have the time to vacuum their car out and clean the windows and clean the mirror and all that. And for that person, I recommend a car detailing gift certificate that they are going to love that. The fact that someone can come out while they're at work or while they're at home, park behind their car and their car and wash the outside of their car, vacuum the inside of their car, even shampoo the seats if depending on what you get and clean all the windows and clean the mirrors. That is fantastic. I think that is a great practical gift. And I think anyone would enjoy it if they really don't like washing their car. Another practical gift. Now this one may be a little more expensive. So you, it's up to you if, if it's in your budget, but it is for that person who is extremely busy. Maybe you have a, a working mother who's in school and she just, just doesn't have time to clean her house all the time. Like she would really, really want to, she gets it done, but she would love absolutely love to come home or to be at home and go to the grocery store or be in her room and have someone clean her home house. So a house cleaning gift certificate, I think is a fabulous idea. I think it is, even if the person is single and just to come home and have the entire house clean and dusted and mopped and, and, and everything. I think that is a wonderful, wonderful practical gift. And I myself would absolutely love one of those gift certificates. Another practical gift is, so if you have someone that loves Starbucks, most people who drink coffee, not everybody, most people who drink coffee actually love or like at least like Starbucks. So if you have someone who loves Starbucks, a Starbucks gift certificate, you may not be able to afford the car dealing detailing gift certificate or the house cleaning um, um, certificate, but a Starbucks gift card, $5 Starbucks gift card goes a long way for someone who loves Starbucks. I got like three one year put them right in my wallet. I could not wait to get the Starbucks and pop that out and end up paying 75 cents for my drink. So I think Starbucks gift certificates or gift cards for people who love Starbucks is fabulous. Now, if you have a little bit more money, if you have a budget that's like 30 or $40, you can get one of those Starbucks mugs. I think people who love Starbucks coffee would love those as well. And a little $5 gift certificate and put it inside there and wrap that all up. I think that is a fantastic yet practical gift idea as well. The next gift buying tip is for everyone who's shopping all year long and you know, everybody wants your email address now. It drives me insane, but everybody wants your email address now. This time of year, if you have shopped at a place that you, they want you to come back, they will send you emails. They're letting you know what their deals are. Everyone is. So don't be too quick to delete your emails, go through your emails. If you're shopping, you're looking for great deals, great discounts. And just, if you see an email from a, a brand that you frequent 
open that email up, peruse the email. It may be some great deals in there you might not have seen otherwise. So just go through the brands that you really, really enjoy shopping from, open those emails up, and they'll all be asking you to shop their stores and giving great discounts and having great deals all the way until the first of the year, actually past the first of the year. So don't delete your emails as quick as you normally would. And my last gift buying tip is to watch your favorite content creators. Uh -huh. Hopefully I'm one of them. I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm just saying, put it out there. I hope I'm one of them. Watch your favorite content creators this time of the year. All of us are working with lots of brands. We're creating a lot of content with great ideas, great gift buying ideas and tips and sales and discounts and discount codes. So we're all creating that sort of content. So if you're watching your favorite creators, they'll really, really guide you to some great Christmas buy deals this time of year. Well, that's it family. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget links for all of the items discussed from HSN will be in the description box. They will also be on my website, AngelaMichelle.com. You just go to my website, click on YouTube videos, shop my YouTube videos, and you will see a picture of each item. If you click on that item, it'll take you directly to HSN where you can purchase that item at your leisure. Thank you so much for joining me. And no matter where you are in the world, I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.